guys, welcome back to Didsbury Art Studio. I'm Sally, if you've not met me before. Now today I am going to be doing um, a black and white weave. Um, I'm going to be developing one of the um, identity drawings that I did a couple of weeks ago in a video. So if you've not seen that, check it out. And I'm going to be developing the 2D work into 3D weave sample. It's going to be a lesson for about 45 minutes and I'm going to see how much I can get done with the students but obviously stripping it back to black and white rather than exploring colour just gets you to sort of think a little bit more about the techniques and surface texture that you're going to include in your sample. So let's get into it. Okay so next up um, I've got my weaving board and also Weaving needles, again from Amazon, just plastic weaving needles. And you're going to need a pair of scissors and your wool. So I've got a load of wools, black and white wools, that I'm going to use in this project today. And first of all, we're going to look at how we're going to be inspired. So if you remember this piece that we did the other week um, on identity, I'm going to take little elements from here and make up a plan that I can mainly, on the whole, follow. So to begin with, we need to warp up this weaving board. So I've got some white wool, which I want to use. Warping up is the vertical length. I'm just checking that this is quite tough wool. That's fine. And I'm going to just warp this up. So to do that, you literally tie a knot on the back and then you just start taking your wool through these teeth at the side up and down. until we get to the other side. And then to finish off, let's see, ready to start. So you cut yourself off a long length of wool, go to your weaving needle, I'm going to start on the right hand side here. I'm going to take my needle under the first warp length, over the next warp length, and literally over under. I'm going to pull my wool through and leave just a short amount of the wool at the end. I'm just going to ripple that up to the top of my board. And again, over, under, over, under, just to finish off. You can just use the end of your needle to get that up to the top. And then I'm going to go back the opposite way. So I ended here on an over, so I'm going to start on an under. And this creates the weave. This one is the plain weave. Just pull that through. Don't pull it too tight. And then over to that side. And literally, that is your bog standard basic plain weave. So I'm going to do a couple more rows. So you can decide how many rows of wool that you want. Um, I've decided to just leave four there and I'm going to thread up some cream wool and I'm going to carry on. So I've ended on an over there so I'm going to start on an under and I'm going to carry on all the way back this way. This, as I said is just using plain weave And 
once again you can decide how many rows you want so I might just do one more row This leads me nicely into showing you how to do the horizontal stripes. So to do the horizontal stripe you start on the opposite end to where you ended with your cream wool which was on the right hand side so we're going to start on the left and we're also going to start on an over because we ended on an under. So I'm doing the plain weave again. I'm using a different weaving needle, so I've got two on the go. And for the horizontal stripes, we do two rows. Via loop knot is you decide on the length that you want. I've counted off one, two, three, four, five strands of wool, and you pick up your first two warp lengths, lay this over the top, and in the middle, you push through one side, and then you push through on the other side, like so. And you start doing that all the way across. I'm going to pick up the next two warp lengths. I've got a slight shorter wool cut here. And I'm going to take my wool through the centre and through the centre on that right hand side and push that up to the top like so. And we've got tassels forming. So one more. I'm going to push that on the left hand side. And then this side, the right hand side, and push those up to the top, like so. So for the next one, um, it's called sumac weave, and I've got a slightly thicker kind of piping here. You can use thick wool though. Just take your length over the end warp, like the bottom there. And then the next one. And it's kind of doing a little bit of an over. Just push that up. So once we've done that, we need to head back this way to the left and we need to change direction. So we're going to twist it around that final warp and then I'm going to take my sort of, it's piping really, but over the top. So now that I've shown you those techniques, a couple of techniques there, um, I am going to do a time lapse of the whole of the weaving board. Um, I can actually start off with this stripey effect that I've done at the start um, because that's just perfect for following my design.
there we have it. We've got the stripey effect at the top. Obviously, that's what I drew out for my quick design over there. Um, we've got the Raya loop knot and we've got the plain weave. We've explored some different wools. We've got this tassel effect coming down the side. We've got the sumac weave just over here, checkered effect and just some textured wool. So just to show you, this is what I've done with the branch. I've completely wrapped it with some lace and then I've gone over the top with an old cable around here and I've wrapped that with beads. This is just to show you some of the tassels that I added onto the bottom of the weave just because I thought that it needed some weight a little bit more at the bottom so I've put some lace and some more chunky wools in there and I've also done some, some loose plaits. <laughs> video of a time lapse and working from 2D into 3D and I hope you really enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe today and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.